So one of the last things I have to do to the R32 to get it ready is, you know, regular oil change. And I've got plenty of the Molly, but no filter. So I think I'm going to scoot down to the auto parts store. It's going to rain soon, but, you know, whatever, take the scooter so the car's not all hot. But I've got the STP filter and just a couple other things I have. I have the Fumoto quick drain valve. I didn't put that in last time because, I don't know, it was the winter time, it was cold, and I didn't feel like I was putting it in straight and didn't want to strip it. So then he was like, yeah, you should get the best filter, and why not? It was only $3 more. But then it started raining, and he looks outside, and he's like, oh, let's get you out of here. And then he starts asking scooter questions, and he's interested in getting a scooter, and a lot of people drive the ruckuses, but I was like, guy, the tap is way better than a ruckus. It's like probably a third of the price and you know you don't need the license just soup it up and big bore kit on your tow tow good to go I don't know where we're gonna put this one you know just have to find a spot on here somewhere I think this panel came out the best because I did all the zoomies once first like lay down the background and now it's like, ah, I can't really replicate it without covering a bunch of stuff up. The socket set that I have, it's the T25. That's the one you want to take these out. And we'll take those ones out. They're all part of it. I think we're missing one there. But. The Cooper lip, holding strong. I pretty much overdid it, if you saw that video using these metal washers. Didn't really have to do that. Tons of screws, but it's... You know, you can see the scrapage along it. And, you know, the, bu the bumper scraped up before that, so... Now it's like I gave myself that extra two inches there. You know, just the safety, because you gotta be like, oh, the lip's gonna hit even lower now. And, I mean, I couldn't really use the deep socket, because you have that wire in the way that... I mean, you can move this pretty easy, but still. So we'll get the strain in. So here's the Fumoto drain valve. And I mean, it pretty much eliminates that problem of having to worry about stripping your threads on the oil pan. Because you know, you screw it in once and you just have this valve where, you know, it's locked down with pressure. You have to push up and then over. And it's pretty tough, so, you know, it stays sealed. So I put it in, and I have it, like, sort of started. And, you know, like the Ackerman, it looks like it's way up. So you'd be like, oh, cross-threaded. But if you sort of look at the flat part here in relation to this flat part, I mean, it looks straight, I guess, but that's where it tightens up and gets, like, you know, I don't want to go anymore. So, you know, it sort of starts decent, and I don't know if I should just, you know, crank on it now. So just for comparison, let's, like, let's see how easy this one starts. Alright, so we have it started. And then, I mean, you can turn this one in with your fingers pretty much all the way. So it's like, do I go with that? It's just like just starting to tighten now, but I can still go with my fingers. Or do I go with the Fumoto? So, still undecided on the Fumoto drain valve, but we're going to drain the filter and stuff now. Everyone says the uh, small drain plug on this filter strips too, so I'm just taking the whole thing off. I hope I'm doing it right. Not really a how-to video like usual, just making it up as I go. That's why they say to use the drain plug at the bottom, but it's like, eh. It's only a little messy. So, pretty sure this was the stock filter, or the man filter, like one of those replacements. Um, that's all I really have to say about that. Oh, a little funny card here. Three keys to a successful oil change. Sure. So, uh, yeah, you don't need to take that little drain plug out. You can just 
pull your filter try not to drip oil on myself but didn't bring a tripod today as I said before silly me old filter new filter so you would just snap your new filter in make sure it's on there good and there's a ring down here I believe that you would replace so we'll probably have to get a flathead screwdriver pull that ring off replace that We'll replace that little o-ring with the new one and that takes care of the filter we just put this back on now see my fear is you know the factory drain plug you saw screwed in pretty easy and the Fumoto is tougher so if I force the Fumoto and then for whatever reason it leaks doesn't work out drips not that the ball valve would drip I mean like it doesn't seal up right and drips then I can't go back to the factory plug because I probably just made it bigger with the Fumoto even though it's supposed to be the same if I do it and pull it off it'd be perfect forever but if I don't and it doesn't work then it's all bad Zero Fox Fumoto drain here we go and you know it's a lot of different applications they make Fumoto drain valves for a lot of things so some of them will have more of an angle like upwards and then they say get a hose because it's going to shoot the oil like up into here you don't want that. So you know you have your ball valve. That would be closed. You look through there, nothing. You push up on this and then over. And you can see it. If I line it up right. But it's tough. There you go. I mean it doesn't look like it's cross threading, so I'm just gonna go for it. I'll try to show you the Ackerman one more time. I mean, that's pretty flush, right? I'm not screwing that up. Even though when you zoom out, the valve's kind of up in the air from like that angle. But... Uh, threads. Alright, so it's starting to tighten up now under the washer. Maybe I can get this valve pointed in the direction of the upwards so it's not going to hit anything in. Oh, we did it, boys. We did it. <clears throat> so, so that went from being a regular dirty old oil change to a Fumoto drain valve install. Camera battery's about to die. I'll have to switch it over. I'm pretty sure I have an extra one with me. But the Ackerman is perfect like facing up and everything so you have your car and you know everything comes down here right shoom 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 and yeah this recessed up in here so protection you know, protection you know, plenty of protection for that not gonna hang up on anything at all um, so it's tight there hopefully we don't get any leaks so I figured I'd give you one last shot of the oil Fumoto drain valve and I'm just double checking tightness for my own satisfaction. So that's just one hand. Yeah, we can get a little tighter I guess. That's probably all you want to go. Still pretty good acrimen. Get the old snapshot for my movie. And we did the new oil filter. So we'll lower the car down and fill it back up. Hopefully we have enough. It's 14 and a half gallons of fuel and engine oil is 4.9 quarts. This applies 200 horsepower gasoline engine, it's not ours. Useless. Maybe it'll say in another chapter. I feel like that covers 2008 GTI. 2008 GTI. Egg, rabbit, Eos, Passat. But it's 2008 R32, you see. That's what it is. R32. Useless, useless, useless. Probably just pouring right out the bottom of it. Any minute now, my shoes are going to be covered in oil, just dumping out the bottom. The Fumoto, huh? Mm -hmm. 
Now you really want to put the bottle in the drain like that because everybody knows the best oil stays at the bottom of the bottle. Start her up, fill the filter. Can't even show you with the light, but it's there. Right there, there we go. We'll check it again, of course, after we run and go. So there you go, there was the Fumoto drain valve install on a 2008 Volkswagen R32 and it's the 3.2 liter V6 so it probably would be the same on some other platforms you know just a simple oil change really but I didn't really plan on doing a project today so of course the R32 is dirty I just happened to have that Fumoto drain valve laying around and was like hey why not you know I'm doing the oil change before Wookiees in the Woods so if you haven't seen my other R32 videos, you can check out my other videos for some cool R32 modifications. You know, we have the SolarWorks coilovers on there, custom exhaust, 15 inch spacers in the rear, just a quick rundown. These tires are coming out going in storage because they came off the Detroit wheels. Have some high performance summer tires or max performance I guess there would be category summer tires to put on for Wookiees in the Woods so that'll be the next project just putting the Detroits back on you know I really like the flushness and the acrement with the 15 millimeters not bad not too bad so these wheels and tires are currently for sale if anybody's interested with or without tires all the tires are 8 30 seconds or above pretty much brand new done up all seasons and that covers that for the Fumoto drain valve install with the oil change the Wookiees in the Woods trip is more like a sort of rally type get together if you haven't seen it you can look that up a bunch of different cars go down there it's a very popular sporting road in Tennessee North Carolina US 129 so this will be my third trip down there and Every time I go down, the R32 is more and more modified. The first time I went, it was pretty much stock. And now, you know, we're on coilovers, exhaust, better performance tires instead of these all seasons, which should make a big, big difference. Not that I've ever had any problems with the R32 handling, but. And you might have noticed I didn't put the drain pan, or not the drain pan, but this little plastic shield back on yet because I'm going to do the Detroit's, you know, because I want to keep an eye on the Fumoto drain valve in case we have to tighten that. You know, you can't see it once you put this pan on, 